hi guys welcome to another video and I got a question for you do you know how to draw realistic fur if you're going to draw an animal for example can you make a realistic fur to the point of looking like a photo I'm almost sure your answer was no but no problem because I stopped this week to gather the best guide on how to draw realistic fur for beginners so grab your materials and come to draw with me in the last video I showed you how to draw a nose with freckle effect. I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you don't know me, I'm Lino, I'm a graphite and colored pencil drawing specialist and I have helped so many people to learn realism from my online course in Brazil, which is the Realism Club, and I'm bringing an English version of this website soon. And if you want more information, I'll leave the link in the description. And before we start, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of video and if you enjoy this type of art I will bring so much more other videos about realistic drawings and I don't think you want to miss any new video right so that's it let's get straight to the video to start I'm going to make a circle on this left side and a circle on the other side doing this I'll have two examples to show you and you don't need to repeat the circles here let's go to the don'ts version first and if you want to learn how to create perfect circle I can go through an a bit more detail in another video talking about tips, techniques and everything needed to create this type of circle freehand. So let me know in the comments if you want it. The first important thing to mention about fur is that beginners think we just need to create lines because if we do that then we're gonna have fur effect. But no, it doesn't work. Just create lines would not be enough. Another important thing is that they usually draw each of those lines the same size. That doesn't work either. Each part has its own exposure because some are above others and so on. Another thing that doesn't work as well that you see a lot on the internet is drawing lines connected simply back and forth. And also another thing that I see that works but it's not done that way are crossed lines where some go in one direction and others go in another direction action crossing these lines this works but we need to plan first and actually planning is one of the main reasons why beginners can't create more beautiful and more elaborate drawings so let's get ready for me to show you how to do it the right way and the first thing we are going to do is to start working with a plan. So I'll start to sketch parts that will be darker within the circle. You just have to watch the video and repeat it on your paper. And I'm going to do this because the darker parts of the fur are not all in the same depth. There are underneath layers that are layers above and exactly because of that there are lighter and darker layers. The fur that are receiving more light and the ones that are receiving less light. Outlining darker parts, we know exactly where to shade and what's outside of the area we know it must be the light details. And this is what we're gonna get, it's looking like a planet. But remember that when you be doing an animal fur, that will not have any circle around. Once you have done, I'll show you a thing. All of these fur have some movement. We can already see that by the sketch. So they are not in a random way. They have a path. And we have to follow this path when drawing the fur. And that's what we are going to do now. We will draw the fur until it looks like this. But before, if you struggle with creating graphite drawings or colored pencil drawings and you are looking to improve your drawing skills, I can teach you everything you need to know over on my online course called Realism Club. There I will show you all my techniques for shading, painting with colored pencils, how to draw face, mouth, eyes, nose, hair and fur drawings, some other effects and much more. That's your opportunity to have art guidance to reach a full potential, so why not give it a try? I'll leave the link to the course webpage below in the description. So let's get back to our drawing, and now we'll draw exactly within those areas that you have sketched. Those are the talk parts. You just have to do lines inside. You want to use a black pencil to shade and give contrast. I'm using this one, which is the 4B grade pencil. Another important thing that can't be missed at all is how sharp the pencil is. It needs to be very very sharp because you want to simulate fur. So if you really want to get this effect, you need the line to be very precise and thin. 
another point the line needs to be very fine at the beginning and also at the end of the line then you move the pencil by touching the tip of the pencil to the paper and moving up again in a single movement I'm going to do a little detail here which I didn't perceive at the beginning of the sketch and I'll fill it in as well the other tip to talk about is how you should follow the movement the direction the first going in if you're looking at reference you made some lines are curved up or up to the right corner or up to the left corner do it exactly as you see because the third direction is essential to get the right effect and another important thing to say is that you do not need to draw exactly within the area that you have sketched in you can do some fur lines going out of the outline shape now that we have exactly the movement and exact place where the darkest fur will be we're gonna make another layer over them to make it dark and give more contrast Once you've created the layer we needed, let's move on to creating the lightest fur between each of those dark sections. You just have to create the fur movement that matches the dark areas. For example, if you connect two dark points where the first section is going to the left and the next clump of fur curves upwards, then you do the same between them so they connect well. Another thing is that I'm using a light pencil here. If you're using the same dark pencil, press it slightly to keep this area brighter. Nice! Now I'm going to get the cut and bud to continue. Let's move on to get the darker part smooth. Now look, the dark parts are smooth and once we've done that we're gonna do the same thing with the light parts. Oh and one thing, easy off the pressure of the cotton swab now. Good, and one thing that usually happens when we use blending stamp or else the cut and swab is that the lines fade a little. So what we are going to do now, we we'll avail that we have to darken the dark areas even more and we will create the fur again from above. So it will be more realistic and even more contrasted. So let's create another layer over the dark areas. And don't forget to keep the tip of your pencil very sharp. Once I've applied the second layer on this dark area, now we'll move on to the light area, create a new layer as well. But this time try to use a light pencil or an ATB pencil for example. Alright, after doing that, now we'll apply the last layer using the cotton swab over the light details. Remember to press lightly, we are only doing it to bring a layer and this fur texture should not fade much. Now we go to the main part, which is to create the lightest fur on top of the tool. For this, I will use a Tombow Mono Eraser. So for that, we are going to move the Tombow Mono Eraser exactly over the lighter part, just like we were using the pencil before.
now let's repeat the same process over the dark parts. Just like we did the lighter fur, it's going to be more natural by the end. To finish, we are going to draw some more lines over the lighter fur. It will look more natural. Last details and it's finished. And like I said over on my online course, you can learn all of my techniques for realistic drawings with graphite and colored pencils, so don't forget to take a look, the link will be in the description. So that's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to give the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, for you not to miss any new video here. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video, bye.